Hi, I'm Rachel Bevan from Rachel's Essentials, and today we're making bath bombs. Now, bath bombs are very popular right now, and so I'm going to show you the basic recipe, and then I'm also going to show you some uh, variations that you can do. So, to start off with, we're going to be doing eight ounces of baking soda. Okay. Um, now, this is going to make a couple bath bombs, so don't think that this is just for one. When I post the recipe on here, um, you can make it smaller to go for one, um, or you can make the set like I'm gonna be doing. Okay, it also takes a half cup or four ounces of cornstarch. Okay. And then it takes four ounces of Epsom salt. Four ounces of citric acid. Now this is something that you probably don't have at home. I bought the five pound bag just because I'm making a lot of them. So just four ounces of that one. <clears throat> okay, and then we're on to the carrier oil. Now I'm gonna use fractionated coconut oil. You can also use the um, the unrefined coconut oil, the big block one, and melt that down. We need about two teaspoons. So I'm going to give myself about eight squirts of this, about two teaspoons. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to add your essential oil. So I'm gonna do about 10 drops of lavender. And you only need 10 drops for the entire container. Now, if you wanted to add coloring, I have food, um, food safe and removable uh, colors. And so that could be safe for a bathtub, but if you don't, like this one, I'm not going to be adding that. Uh, and then you need a little, little, little tiny bit of water. I'm just getting a little water here. Okay, add that in. And we're saying like less than half a teaspoon of water. Okay, then we're just gonna mix it all together. You can either use your hands or you can use um, a spoon. I'm just gonna use my hands because eventually my hands could get dirty anyway. So after you mix it all together, Okay. You're going to notice that it's going to start to clump, like when you hold it in your hand, it can kind of re retain its shape a little bit. And then you're getting closer. You will need some bath bomb molds. Um, and so I have some metal ones that I've purchased, but you can get plastic ones or whatever else you want. So after you get it so it's going to stay close enough, you're going to take one of your molds, overfill half of it, just like really pack it in. Take the other side and squish it down as best you can. Okay, after it's all compressed, take it out and you have a bath bomb. Now the hardest part about this is that it doesn't need to dry for about 24 hours before you can handle it. Um, you can also shrink wrap it. There are fancy shrink wrap sleeves that would work, um, but bath bombs, even though they're labor intensive, are pretty fun to use. So I hope you enjoy.